All right. So, Coach, you guys have been practicing on this turf field, preparing for Northwestern. How's that been? Oh, you know, today was our first day out on it, but I think it's great that we have the opportunity to train on here because it is a little bit different. Um, the, the bounce is a little bit different. The um, run of the ball, certainly it runs true and it runs fast, but that's different than and probably what we're used to playing on grass. So usually we have two games in a weekend, so we don't get to spend as much time out here or, you know, you got to play on two surfaces within three days. Um, with it being one game, we can kind of focus on getting used to this surface and hopefully that helps us when we show up at Northwestern on Sunday. Yeah, and you mentioned the short weekend. Do you think the fact that you guys just have one game will help your team focus more or? Um, you know, I think the, the one game weekend has come at a really good time for us because it means we've had a, a long week of recovery and training. Um, we probably are going to get to train more this week and next than we have the last three weeks, um, just in terms of having bodies that we can train with. So we've been able to get a little recovery, get some good training, and hopefully that means we're prepared to, prepared to play on Sunday. Yeah, so looking ahead to Northwestern, what have you told your team about maybe playing on the turf? They're really used to playing on it because it's their home field. Yeah, you know, I think most of, uh, certainly our upperclassmen have been there and played there before, and, you know, we won a Big Ten tournament on that surface, so I think we, we tell them it's, it, it's the surface. Both of us have to play on it, and we've had time to train on it. I don't think that's, by the time Sunday rolls around, I don't think that's even part of the discussion. The discussion then is what kind of soccer do we want to play, what kind of soccer do we want to think we think Northwestern's going to play, and let's go play the game. I think the surface will be immaterial at that point. Yeah, and um, you said about the soccer you guys want to play. After you guys faced Ohio State and then Penn State away, pretty far traveling, what, what do you what do you want them to learn from that? Bring into this. Week, into this but I think there's a couple of technical things that we can do a little bit better. I think our ideas right now are really good. Tactically, I think where our team is is really good, and we've got to continue to perfect our execution. And if we can execute some of the ideas we're having and do some of the things we need to do and be better individual defenders, we're a really really good soccer team. And you've been moving some players around on the roster because of injuries that you've been having throughout the year. How's that been? You know, it's been fine. I think um, one of the things that's pretty good about this team is um, they're adaptable, whether that's changing some tactics in the flow of the game or changing personnel around. Um, this team listens to what you ask, tell them, tries to do what you're asking them to do, whether that's play up front, play in the back, um, move centrally. You know, Sarah Warren's a freshman. She's played center back now. She's played outside back. Abby's played in the back. She's played up front. So, you know, I think the thing about this game is the concepts are the same. Um, and we're asking those players to do what they do well, just in a different area of the field. And I think as long as we can do that, as long as we can keep asking them to do the things that they do well, it doesn't matter where we put them. Um, that's my job to put the pieces of the puzzle together so that it has a picture. Uh, but it might mean that the red rose is over here and the pink one's over there um, in that picture on the day because of uh, things that uh, we need to do or because people that are missing. Um, and, you know, we've missed some people and people have filled those holes on a pretty regular basis. And I think our record shows that people are doing a pretty good job of that.